Hello folks, welcome back to our channel and today I'm going to be reviewing another episode of Medium and today I'm going to be reviewing the 13th episode of the 4th season called A Cure for What Ails You. A Cure for What Ails You Indeed. The episode was directed by Arlene Sanford and written by Corey Reed and Travis Donnelly. The episode originally aired on April 21st, 2008. So what is this episode about? Let, let me give you the highlights of this episode, if you let me, if you will. So basically in this episode, Allison is having some really strange, kind of scary dreams in which she sees some people she knows, namely Scanlon and Linda Novi, his girlfriend, being basically together and now uh, what happens is that a phone call is gonna disrupt their evening to say the least and uh allison is soon going to find out that some of their whoever has perished whoever has passed away is actually pretty close to them so it hits pretty close to home for the for the for these people for these two people so basically, Allison is going to be kind of, you know, trying her best as she usually does in order to solve this riddle, this, uh, this, uh, this string of murders, that uh, this string of deaths that at first might appear to be accidental ones, like just, uh, you know, any random kind of accidental deaths, but there might be more to it. And uh, she's going to have more and more visions. You know, she's going to basically be able to piece things together. But I don't want to tell you what it is, nor do I want to tell you what the twist of the whole thing is about. I'd rather let you find out for yourselves. But yeah, this is basically how this episode goes. And basically, there might be, there, 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 there are a few characters that might be involved in this. But I let you find out for yourselves what it is. Also, Allison is herself is being she's being put through the ringer in this episode as she she basically collapses at some point. She just faints in her house and then she has to go to the hospital. I let you find out for yourselves how this all turns out. And uh well, this is basically the main storyline. And the sub story in this episode is has to do with Marie. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Allison. Allison and Joe's <coughs> younger daughter. And what happens is that she's basically <coughs> she's basically squinting hard at the sh at the TV screen and that might that might be a sign that she needs glasses. But as her father takes her to the optometrist, I think that's what it's called. Here it is on Wikipedia. As she takes her to the optometrist, it turns out that maybe Marie, <sighs> she she might have, how could I say, cheated at some point. How did she cheat as she was basically being tested for, you know... I guess whatever it is that she has, uh, she basically, she might have cheated the, the questioning. <laughs> I'll let you run in for yourselves how, but it's a pretty funny thing. And, uh, yeah, basically, I'm pretty sure that's basically it for this episode. And, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, we could move on to the characters now and the actors so that we don't spend too much time. On this review, so basically we have the main ones. Then we have William Raxdale who plays. <coughs> Sorry about this. My voice keeps crack cracking. William Raxdale play Rus plays Russell Furlong. John Prosky plays Tom Van Dyke. Tina DeJosa plays Linda Novi. J D Cullum plays optometrist. Elizabeth De Denny High Denny Denny He Denny High plays Hastings boss. Xyla Mendoza, Xyla Mendoza plays admitting nurse. Serena Reeder plays Miss Hastings. Brian Schwory plays copy attendant. <coughs> Tommy Schreider, 
<clears throat> Tommy Schrader plays Weird Doctor. Miranda Carabillo plays Marie. Ted Garcia plays Newscaster. And uh, Kevin Cristoldi. Yeah, plays Voyeur. So this is basically it for these, for the for these. Sorry, Voyeur. I think it is, <laughs> not Voyeur. Voyeur. <clears throat> so basically, these are the main characters and actors in this episode. Um. So yeah, they pretty much did it. They all did a pretty good job, especially. William Raxdale, who plays Russell Furlong. He was in a few other shows, if I'm not mistaken. He's a very great actor. William Raxdale in this episode was pretty good. But they were all very, very good. And, uh, yeah, basically, this is, uh, this is basically it for this episode, I guess. So, pretty enjoyable episode, but I don't think that... Yeah, in this episode, basically, there are a few interesting scenes, especially one in the parking lot with the car. <laughs> As you read it for yourselves, it was, wow, it was <sighs> breathtaking. And then you have, basically, when Allison is going to figure out everything, there's going to be a scene involving an airport. And uh, it was pretty, actually, it was pretty clever, clever-wise. I mean, the, the, the script, the plot was pretty good because you'll find out that there might be some people who basically don't know each other. And uh, what happens is they might have did something. But, you know, you're going to get it, you know. You know, slowly but surely the blood is going to play out. And uh, in the end, it was pretty good. Also, I like the subplot with Marie needing glasses, prescription glasses. All these have... All, all, yeah, the thing about this episode is that it was nice. It was a nice episode. It's not the best one in the season, but it's it's uh, it's a pretty good one, if you ask me. So, <clears throat> I'm going to be generous as I'm rating this episode. I think I'll, I'll give it... Yeah, maybe I could move on to the rating right now so that I don't spend too much time. I don't, I don't exceed the 10 limit kind of limit that I set for these reviews, so I don't, you know speak too much so that I don't run on and on about, you know, this episode. I'd rather, you know, do something that is straight to the point. So if I were to rate this episode on a scale from 1 to 10, I think I would give it a, a 7.5 out of 10, maybe. 7.5 out of 10 seems to be doing it. Yeah, I think this episode was good. So 7.5 out of 10 for this episode. Let me say it again. 7.5 out of 10 for this episode. It was pretty nice. It was pretty nice, and, uh, yeah, it it offers a good kind of, uh, comic relief in a way from other episodes that were darker in this season. <clears throat> I mean, not comic relief as if it's funny, it's more like, but it's more of a light, light, how could I say, light-hearted episode, you know, compared to the other ones, especially, like, some others were pretty dark in this season. This one was kind of less dark, but... At the same time, it was kind of dark. And uh, I didn't mention that at the beginning of the episode, you basically have that guy stalking and he's staring at somebody through through their house window. And basically, Allison is telling you a story, <clears throat> like a book, basically. She, she's, she's, uh, she's speaking. She's speaking like she, she's telling a story. I thought that was pretty interesting as well. So, yeah. This is basically it for this episode. 7.5 out of 10. Let me try that again. Dude, 7.5 out of 10 for this episode. 7.5 out of 10 for this episode. Did you get it? 7.5 out of 10. What about you, folks? What did you think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I really can't wait to hear about your thoughts and views on this episode. And uh, whether you liked it or not, feel free to let me know as this... Uh, this uh, channel of mine is uh, neutral, so it's a neutral one. You don't have to like it. You don't have to, to dislike it. You're free to have your own opinion, whether and whether we disliked an episode. I mean, whether I disliked an episode that you liked or you, you liked an episode that I disliked, that doesn't matter. Feel free to let me know. Thank you, folks. Goodbye. Take care of this whole channel for you signing off. Goodbye.